Okay, so this is a typical exam question and it's a bit different as I've already said from all the examples that we've done in the previous videos and um, it's a bit it's a bit challenging it's not difficult it's just a bit challenging because it wants you to think differently and the approach becomes a little bit different from what we used to so far but it's doable and uh, if we follow our methodology of the rice table um, we end up getting the answer so let's give it a try now let's read the statement the statement says two mole of nitrogen dioxide and an unknown amount of nitrogen nitrogen tetra so this is going to be nitrogen tetra oxide are sealed in a it's actually dinitrogen tetra oxide if I'm not mistaken, are sealed in a two cubic decimeter container that is fitted with a plunger at a certain temperature. The following reaction takes place. At equilibrium, it is found that the nitrogen dioxide concentration is 0 0.4 mole per cubic decimeter. The equilibrium constant at this temperature is 2. So, They've given us the Kc. They've given us the Kc. So what is the Kc? They've given us the Kc. The Kc is 2. Kc is 2. So we're actually not looking for the Kc because we know what it is. They've also given us the concentration of one of the molecules, right? Okay, so... They say calculate the initial amount in moles. So they want the number of moles of dinitrogen tetraoxide that was sealed in the container. That was sealed in the container. So they want the initial number of moles that was sealed in the container. So they assume, so the assumption is that there was a certain amount of moles initially here. Right? There was a certain amount of moles initially here. So it's X. We don't know it. It's X because we do not know it. Now, this, this, this table is in the form of number of moles. Let's convert what we know into moles so that we can work. So if we, can, we can solve this thing and, and, and plug in the number of moles in this table to make it easier. So they've given us the concentration of NO2 at equilibrium, we have found that it's 0 0.4. And we know that concentration is equal to N over V. Therefore, the number of moles will be CV, which is 0 0.4. The volume is 2. So this becomes 0 0.8 moles. So the number of moles of NO2 at equilibrium is 0 0.82. And if you go back to the statement, we know the initial number of moles of NO2. We know that that is 2. They told us it is 2. Because they say 2 moles, 2 moles of NO2 with an unknown amount. Unknown amount. That's the X that we're looking for. It's unknown. We don't know what it is. They say they are sealed in a container, in a 2 cubic decimeter container. That is fitted with a plunger at a certain temperature. At a certain temperature, we don't even know what the value of the temperature is, but that's not important. The one thing that you should remember is that the Kc value is only dependent on the temperature. It does not care if you change the concentration or the pressure at equilibrium of your reaction, of your reaction species. It only cares about the temperature. Anyway, so now. We have got this problem here. We don't know what has changed, but we can calculate what has changed. We, we can calculate what has changed. What has changed here, what has changed here is 2 minus, is 2. What has changed here is 2 minus 0 0.8. That is what has reacted. So it's what? 1.2. 
it's 1.2 and if we write it properly if we write it properly it will be minus 1.2 so we just assuming that the equilibrium shifts to the right we make that assumption that the equilibrium is shifting to the to the right now using the stoichiometric coefficients we can now calculate the number of moles that were formed for this product so we've got 2 is to 1 so the ratio the ratio is 2 is to 1 so let's get some space here the ratio is 2 is to 1 ratio is 2 is to 1 so if we react 1.2 So, if we react 2, of two moles to form 1 mole, how about when we react 1.2, how many moles will it form? So, we can do the cross multiplication. This becomes 2x is equal to 1.2 over 2 over 2, and x becomes 0 0.6. So, this becomes plus 0 0.6, right? So, then what you will have at equilibrium for dinitrogen tetraoxide you will have x plus 0 0.6. You'll have x plus 0 0.6. And then the, the concentration, because it's n over v, will be 0 0.8 divided by 2, which is 0 0.4. And here you'll have x plus 0 0.6 divided by 2. So we know we don't know what x we want. We want to know what x is. We don't know it. So, and then you go to your kc. We can use your kc to find x because x is the only variable that is unknown. So, the equilibrium expression for this equation is going to be, it's going to be your product, which is the concentration of your product, which is this, divide by NO2 squared, right? And this is equal to 2, right? So if we substitute what we know, if we substitute what we know, at equilibrium, we know that, at equilibrium, we know that our product, X plus 0 0.6 over 2, this is our concentration, divide by 0 0.4. Squared. So 0 0.4 squared is equal to 0 0.16. So this will be this will be equal to this will be equal to 2. So it becomes x plus 0 0.6 over 2 over 0 0.16 is equal to 2. So you do cross multiplication and you have you have you have x plus 0 0.6 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.16 times 2 which is 0 0.32 right and then you do another cross multiplication with you cross multiply this and this you do a cross multiplication and then you get you get x plus 0 0.6 is equal to 2 times 0 0.32 which is 0 0.64 right and you have x is equal to 0 0.64 minus 0 0.6 and you have 0 0.04 moles so this is the number of moles that you start with for dinitrogen tetraoxide so this becomes it's equal to 0 0.04 and that's it that's how you find the number of moles so sometimes they give you the kc value and then you have to work backward and calculate the initial number of moles either for a reactant or for a product so that's it. Simple, easy piece. Then you get your whole line.